How's it going everybody? Welcome into the shop. I have an exciting episode lined up for you guys. Before we get into it, let's just go ahead and deal with the elephant in the closet, the AR-15. I know a lot of you have commented and wanted to know what I'm going to do for AR-15, and I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to change anything. I don't really care about AR-15. I don't really care what YouTube thinks about it. Uh, I know that they're going to immediately think it's a gun, but we're not building a gun. We're doing nothing with guns. I have nothing against guns. I own a gun. I would probably own more guns, but I spend all my money on tools. Um, but for this episode, nothing is changing. We're not doing anything fancy uh, with an automatic rifle. So you're not going to see any of that. I'm sorry if you're disappointed. Moving on, we are going to be building a 10 by 10 oak veneered cubed box. It's a really cool little, very simple design that sits on a desk has a hinge door. Um, it's a pretty tricky little uh, technical box to build. So it's been a lot of fun to make and I'm excited to show you guys the process in this episode, which I'm gonna break it into two parts. So in this first part, we're gonna be working on making veneers, resawing on the bandsaw, laying them up, gluing them, putting in a veneer, veneer bag and uh, gluing them up. Uh, so there's a lot to, to touch base on. And then in the second episode, which I'll be posting very shortly, We'll be doing all the last uh, parts of the details, like cutting the miters, putting the box together, and doing the door. So, let's get into this. We've got a lot to cover today. I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get started. Okay, so I've run all the veneers through my planer uh, to kind of calibrate them all to the same thickness. They're at about right under an eighth of an inch. It didn't really go quite as well as I thought it would. The bandsaw gave me issues. I should have had a nice, clean, fresh blade on there, nice and sharp, um, and that would have saved me. That would have helped me out immensely. I'm gonna run everything through the wide belt, put it aside, and then we're gonna lay up our cores and get those ready, and we'll be gluing this up very soon. Love the way this grain looks. We got a book match. Um, this will be the outside of the box, and we'll wrap it all the way around the cube. Um, same thing goes here. This will be the inside of the box. Not quite as nice as this one, so that's why we're using the inside. And then you've got a door here and a back. Okay, so as you can tell, it is now nighttime. I had to run into the house and do a little family time with the uh, wife and kids. The kids are now asleep, so I am going to try to get these. The door and the back panel uh, banded up tonight with this with the oak banding we made earlier. Uh, I'll just use my hand saw and shooting board to, to do these super easy uh, and clamp them on. Uh, I, I prefer to use hand tools on something like this uh, just because it's enjoyable and it's late at night so I like to keep it kind of quiet in the shop. Uh, so let's knock this out.
So here's a look at how this comes together. Um, just simple miters. These don't have to be absolutely uh, perfect as long as they're good on the outside corners because that's what you'll see. Everything on the top is going to get covered. You see they pull together pretty good. Uh, and that shooting board will always give you an accurate 45. So what I'll do is glue and I'll use a little pin nailer uh, to pin nail those in place. Uh, and then maybe if I need to I'll put, put clamps if I need to pull it tight. So the next thing for me to do now that I've got this banded is to come back with a hand plane, smooth it and level it all out. The great thing about this particular plywood is it has thick uh, thick plies, thick veneers, so I can hand plane into this no problem and don't have to worry about tearing through it. Uh, there's plenty of room for that. So uh, I'll knock that out, then we'll lay out our veneers, get them all situated and then get them in the bag. Okay, so I've got all my veneers ready to lay up. You can see I used my uh, number eight Stanley hand plane to joint those. It has a really long bed, so it does a great job of straight lining. Important that you have nice tight joints. And what we'll do now is I have this tape specially designed for veneer, and it goes in this tape dispenser, and you put water in here, and you actually wet the tape, apply it to the joint, and then when the tape dries, it shrinks and, sp and pulls that joint tight together. It works really well. It's a great way to lay up veneer. It's the way I was taught to do it. Uh, and then once we do that, I can mix up my glue, get our bag out, and then we can uh, hopefully get everything glued up and in the bag by the end of the day. Okay, so when you do the veneer work, it's really important when you're ready to glue up that you are prepared. So I'll spread my glue on all the plywood surfaces. I'll put the veneers on the, the plywood and then I'll use tape to tape those veneers down just to kind of hold them so when you when the bag tightens, they're not slipping and sliding and getting off. Uh, sometimes you can actually pull the veneer all the way off to the side and it, it, can, it can ruin the panel. So it's good to be uh, prepared and move fairly quick. The glue takes a little while to set up. I'll probably have about 20 minutes, 15 minutes um, before it starts to kind of want to harden on me. That didn't sound right. About 20, 50 minutes before it starts to set up. Uh, so I've got everything laid out right here. I will start mixing glue and get these in the bag. You want to help me? Yeah. Daddy, can you say one cheese? Cheese. Nice. It's an elephant. Yeah, that's an elephant. We got to mix by weight 10 to 1. Do you know what that means? Yeah. For every 10 we put into this, 10 ounces, we want one ounce of hardener. Yes, and I'll take a picture of them. Okay, you take pictures. Daddy? We don't need 20 ounces. Hold on, I'm thinking really, really hard. Um, sorry. I don't know what's spotted. Can't really do two things at once. 
Okay, now this is the hardener. Yeah. You're not at all interested, are you? No. No? I don't really want you around this stuff, you know, it's kind of nasty. Okay, Jimmy, once we mix this, it's go time. Are you scared? No. Good, neither am I. two-man job and there's only one of me. I can't do this. I can't get it. I'm so screwed right now. Okay, man, so that was really hectic if you couldn't tell. Every time I ever put anything in the bag, it's always a scramble. It's 97 degrees in here, and that glue was setting up way faster than I thought it would. It's already gumming up. I actually have my fingers crossed on this one. I'm a little bit worried that it took too long to get this pressed. I was having a really hard time getting the clamp on by myself. The, this little mesh that you saw me struggling with is a breeder mesh. And it's what allows the air to kind of move throughout the bag and suck down. It's got to be in there and it's really unorganized in there and crushed and, and not laid out properly, but it works. Everything is good. The, the pump's working fine. Everything's sucked down. I think we're nice and flat here. I just hope that our glue is not, did not set up too quick on us. It was getting just a little bit gummy in the, in the cup as I was getting the bag uh, closed. So... You know, every time I do this, I just cross my fingers and hope for the best. I'll be able to pull this out probably in a couple hours and check it. We'll see uh, how it all came together. Hopefully, we're okay. I think we will be, but um, it would be a real huge bummer to lose a day's worth of work on veneer and substrate to a bad glue-up. It would be a huge bummer. Okay, so that wraps up this half of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something about veneering. I know, uh, you know, honestly, I haven't done a whole lot of veneer work in this shop, so every time I do it, I learn something new. And if you couldn't tell when I was laying that veneer up, I was really, really short on glue. I cut it really close. I didn't quite mix up enough. Always mix up more than you need because if you run out, you get yourself into a lot of trouble. I got really lucky. I was actually scraping the last bit out of the can, uh, but managed to make it work. So that's a lesson learned to myself, a lesson learned to you guys, hopefully. Uh, as always, thanks for tuning in. If you want to help support the channel, head over to Bunker Branding and get uh, some merchandise. I got stickers. I don't think you can see that. Uh, T-shirts, uh, a lot of cool stuff there. That helps support what I do. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll see you next time.